Well, hello and welcome to the first episode of what I'm going to be calling Shaky Hands Chat. And let's be honest about this. All we're going to be doing is restoring locomotives mainly. I may do a layout, but the first one's going to be a perennial favourite of mine. A Lima LMS 4F. Built, designed and built by Fowler. Anyway, it's a beat up and battered old one and left for ages in dust. It's come disconnected from its tender. And what I'll also do, I'll shorten the tender gap because it had a gap like a cheddar gorge on it. As it was. I remember getting this, oh, one Christmas in about, oh, must have been 1978, possibly, 77, 78, and Lima made a big mistake at the time, I think they thought they were going to convert the British over to HO, but they released British Outline in HO gauge. They did a few models before they realised they weren't going to get anywhere and we were double O and they changed their models to double O to suit. But anyway, a few of these sets got people started back in the day including me and to be honest this loco was G with bomb proof to be honest and this one looks like it's had hardly any running so for this one I've not even bothered splitting the motor and as you will see later it runs like a watch anyway or as good as one of these ever will and I'm just trying it here we a power connector from a Hornby transformer and there we go first touch wallet we're off it's been not run for years and beautiful beautiful and silky smooth and I had no part no doubt at this point they did a run from the wheels because the wheels are clean and the contacts on the the copper contacts onto the wheels are clean so it's basically never been run I don't think for ages and when it was I don't think it had much use anyway here I've got a jeweler's saw and I'm cutting down the drawbar a little being careful not to break the spring electrical contact just needs a little bit sewing off and I re-drilled it to make the drill bar that little bit shorter and it looks better for it I have to confess anyway we nearly get in there here we go Ta -da! Just pull that off now and with her, dude. And yeah, I had much fun with this when I was one of these when I were a kid. Played for hours with it. Here I'm just sewing a coupling. I didn't need that box on it, I just needed the. I just need the loop, really. It'll work with just the loop. I'll probably find a better coupling because these models another mistake they did was offer them with continental couplings so you couldn't really couple to any British outline models well you could but it wasn't brilliant the two two different systems weren't that compatible to be honest as well 
if British systems used the actual Lima coupling that Lima used, I thought Lima's were a lot better. It was a smaller coupling, more central. A little like D-loop, it, it looked a smarter coupling to be honest, but we stick with the big things. And who were we to argue with that? And there we had just put it on now, super glued it on. I'll probably find a better one and attach it to the tender, but here I am screwing the drawbar back onto the tender where it had been outed from. Outed makes it sound homosexual. Anyway, here we go. I'm putting a bit of 3-in-1 oil on the wheels. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, used it for years. Some say, oh, it'll destroy plastic. Never did when I were a kid. I used 3-in-1 WD-40 and all sorts. On Triangle Lima. All sorts of models. My belief is, like a lot of things in life, myths and everything come around from salesmen that want to sell you expensive products. They tell a few people, yeah, but using that oil destroys the plastic, or it gums it up, or it attracts dirt. Get a few believe in it, and it gets spread around you buying his product. Simple as, bish bash bosh. And there we go, a little bit of 3 in 1 on it. I wiped a lot of it off. I just wanted a fine smear of it. There's more problems caused by over oiling than the wrong type of oil. It's like eating everything in moderation. You can have whatever you want as long as it's in moderation. And there we go. Lovely. Lovely. Running like a Swiss watch. And pretty slow really as well for one of these Lima 4X. There we go on the point. Look. And here we go, we're Lord. And we'll come back again. Ta-da!